Hey guys, it's me, Johnny Crimson 2000 here. Uh, I am back to do a let's play here of Grand Theft Auto 3. So I previously did a, a, a let's play, a live let's play here on Twitch of Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and I said at the end of that, or a couple times throughout that let's play, that at some point I was going to go back and do a let's play of this game, Grand Theft Auto 3, even though I did. Chronologically speaking, and as far as the Grand Theft Auto series is concerned, I did it sort of backwards. I started with uh, the second 3D Grand Theft Auto game, that being Vice City, and now I'm finally getting to this one, uh, which is okay. I, the only reason I did that was because I am far more comfortable with Grand Theft Auto Vice City than I am with this one. Now, as you guys can see there in the middle of the screen, I don't know if, you, if it's a little bit fuzzy quality of, of the stream here, but I am playing the Xbox version the same way that I was doing uh, Vice City. I am playing this off of the double pack for the Xbox, the original Xbox. Um, so here we go, this is the, the start of the game. It starts right away, I didn't do anything. Um, this is, this story takes place in Liberty City. We are not playing as uh, Tommy Versetti, obviously. We are playing as a guy that at least in this game, at the start of this game, actually throughout the the entire game, we never really know the name of. In fact, that's uh, that's us right there. His name is Claude. The only now throughout this entire game, we don't we never find out what his name is. He he is a nameless. I don't know if, a, a protagonist, if you want to call it that. The only the only way that we find out eventually what his name is that his name is Claude is after you play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and he makes a small cameo in that game and that's how we learn that his name is Claude. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services So I am going to go ahead and say this right away guys that I am not at all versed in this game uh, to say the least I'm not as knowledgeable about this game as I am with Vice City or even San Andreas Quite frankly the reason why was because I I skipped through this one um, I didn't really get into the Grand Theft Auto games until Vice City I, I mean I had played Grand Theft Auto like you know the the 2D ones on the PlayStation over at my 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 friend's house and things like that. But and, you know, and obviously when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, I heard all the buzz, all the hype. You know, I knew all of that, and I want to say I had maybe a friend or two that played it, and I saw him play it. But I never got around to playing it myself, mostly because I didn't have a PlayStation 2 when this game first came out. It was exclusive to the PlayStation 2. I didn't get a PlayStation 2. Um, ironically, the PlayStation 2 was the last console of that era that I got. So I, sort of just to kind of put it into perspective, I got a, a, a GameCube, and then I got an Xbox, and then I got a PlayStation 2. So it's sort of, sort of backwards. Kind of, everything just went a little bit backwards in that respect. So I'm going to do my best to try to make this playthrough as skillfully as I possibly can. But again, there, um, unfortunately, I have to say that there are no guarantees. I will say right now that I do have my uh, I do have my computer open with a, an IGN guide, or actually, it's it's using the strategy wiki for Grand Theft Auto 3. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Alright, so here we go. We're opening up. Enter or exit the vehicle with the Y button. So now we are playing as Claude. And uh, let's go ahead and change the radio station because, as always, we do, we prefer not to not to get sued. I don't like that. So here we're... we're I do remember the first parts, at least. Oh, boy. Okay, never mind. I do remember these first parts a little bit. Alright, brake or reverse so the vehicle has stopped um, with the left trigger. So basically, I mean, this is going to seem a little bit strange to some of you who played this first, but I am actually playing this sort of like um, in reverse. I'm, I'm seeing what has changed from Vice City as opposed to, you know, 
the way, you know, if I were to have played this in chronological order, I, it would have been the reverse. In Vice City, I would have been checking out what it had changed from this game, since this game came out first. But that's not the case. That is not the case here. I do remember this part. Alright, so stop in the center of the blue marker right here. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. And we are at Eddie's. I can't remember what that is. Alright, when you're not on a mission, you can save your game here. This will advance time six hours. Garage next door can store one vehicle when, the, when you save your game. There it is. So now we have a change of clothes. And uh, if I remember correctly, now we have to go find... Yeah, we have to find Luigi. Oh, that was a nice 180 right there. So now we have to go find work. Because we want to be helpful members of, uh, you know, of, of civilization, of the community here. Not really. We're, we're actually going to work for... I, I think he's a... I think he's a pimp. I think he's he owns a strip club. This is Luigi's club. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Here we go. Luigi's Girls. Now, incidentally, I have never beaten this game. Um, or maybe I think... Maybe I've beaten it once, but it's been such a long time. I, I never really got attached to this game, to be completely honest. I don't remember... I hardly remember any of the characters... Um, I don't yeah, particularly man. go well, back to this to one all that much. I think part of it is because you do, you are sort of playing the silent protagonist role. So, you know, I, I never found that fun, to be honest. Hey, Paul, got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. All right, so we're gonna one do this guy a favor. A ride, so grab a car. And pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girl. Kind of funny how the Keep fire exit sign is green. Here. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. So as you guys can see, we're pretty much everybody's little bitch doing their errands. And that's how, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that's pretty much how all the Grand Theft Auto games work. So it's not really exclusive to this one. The only difference, though, is that, um... And the reason, one of the reasons why I never liked this is that, you know, you never talk back. Like, Claude is a silent, as, as silent as freaking Link from Legend of Zelda. And that's not particularly a good thing in this case. With Link, it works because, you know, people in his world, in his universe, aren't douchebags. <laughs> um, so anyway, here we go. We're, we're, we have to pick up Misty here, and I'm re instantly reminded of... Uh, Let's see, how do we get in there? I think it's right here. I'm instantly reminded, reminded of Mercedes from from Vice City. She's Misty here is pretty much serving the same role. Hi, I'm Misty. Hi. All right, uh, take Misty to Luigi's Club. So if you guys haven't already been able to tell here, this really is this really is uh, just teaching you the ropes here, teaching you how to use your car, how to how to how to drive and things like that. I think I just missed my turn. That's okay. Here we go. So these first couple missions, just the same way as uh, as it was in Vice City, they're not going to be all that exciting. But what can you do? So now we got a thousand five hundred dollars mission pass. It, if you played one Grand Theft Auto game, you've played them all. This is going to work. Um, you know, you can you. This is going to work the same way. So you, we can work and we can uh, go on missions and th things like that. And it says uh, borrow a taxi. Of course, it, you know, that's pretty much letting you know about the side mission with the taxi cab. Now, here's the thing, guys. I do not remember Liberty City at all. Now, this, the world in this game, oop, and that that's our, those are our cops here, which I never really liked because they kind of blend in with the other cars. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, go on this mission right away. I'm not really going to do much exploring or anything like that. Because again, I don't remember much about this game. So it's not like... It's it's not going to be like my, my Vice City playthrough where I, where I show you guys little quirks and things like that. Luigi said to, to give you this. So here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy. Been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. All right, and so take his car, respray it. 
I want compensation for this insult. All right, so we're apparently we're gonna kill somebody. That's always great. And I I mean I can't remember, but I'm I'm assuming here that yeah. Oh, almost got ran over. All right, pick up the baseball bat it's just randomly lying there on the street. All right, so let's get in our car. Uh, now the same way that is the case in a lot of these games, the first couple missions, even if you deal with somebody with weapons, usually they're not going to be guns because they're kind of, you know, guns are sort of like a, a level above standard melee weapons and melee weapons are like a level above using your bare fists. All right, come on, Chimone. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed a turn. Like I said, I do not, <laughs> I do not know Liberty City. At least this incarn. Well, I don't know any incarnation because I skipped out on Grand Theft Auto 4 as well. Yes, I know. I I should be playing that. I should have played that a long time ago. I'm 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 still waiting for that, for the price to go down on that one. Yeah, I am very cheap. <laughs> I don't consider myself cheap. I consider myself a bargain hunter. All right, so punch, kick, and use. So we got to kill this guy. All right, that's cool. All right, take his car and get it resprayed. Man, this, that guy went down pretty fast. I didn't expect him to go down that fast. All right, so let's change the radio station so we don't get sued. All right, so now we have his car here. Let me let me let me run over him one a, a couple more times. You know, because I want to make sure that he's actually dead. All right, so now we have to go to the pay and spray. I always get the, that name mixed up. I always say spray and pay, but I'm pretty sure it's pay and spray. Right? That's what it is. We'll see soon enough. Oh man, this handles like ass. One of the things that always... One of the things that... Like I said, I never really go back to this game much. If at all, really. To be completely honest. Um, oh damn it, I went like a completely wrong direction here. Oh well. I do, I do remember this part. There's like hole, like giant potholes for whatever reason. I never I never know why that is. Um, but anyway, I, I never really go back to this game all that much. I mean, I've said it a bunch of times already. But one of the things that I do... Like every, every Grand Theft Auto game in the 3D series, meaning Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, I always think of them in a particular style. Like there's always like... The way that I remember them. Like Grand Theft Auto. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Like, we are smoking. It's a thousand. Do oh. I don't remember the pay and spray costing that much. Jesus. At least not in. Not in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. A thousand dollars? Like, I don't. I don't think. Yeah, I don't remember it being that much. Oh well. Again, I, I don't go back to this game. Anymore. So anyway, uh, with with each installment, I kind of remember it being a little differently. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Um, with Grand Theft Auto Vice City, for example, I just remember pink. Pink and blue. Pink because of the neon, because it's like the 80s theme, and blue because of the water. Like, you're always... You're always going to be near water in, in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and that's pretty much how I remember it. Um, so Vice City, for me, it's always, it's always, I always remember it as, you know, the Grand Theft Auto that is just pink and blue. There we go, even though I smashed up the front. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I just remember it being orange. Um, orange... Like not 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 necessarily orange. Orange, like warm colors, orange, yellow, like brown, like those kind of colors. And the reason for that is because um, I just remember the desert because that was sort of like the first Grand Theft Auto game in the 3D series, at least, that had a desert. Uh, had a desert. A lot of the streets, for whatever reason, uh, I just remember a lot of sunsets in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And I also remember the the forest, like the woods or whatever. And obviously, you know, woods, trees, barks, um, being brown. So I, San Andreas, to me, I always remember it for having warm colors and sunsets and things like that. This this game, I always remember as being gray and gray and 
sort of dark because for whatever reason liberty city is a very dark place compared to i mean compared to vice city it's definitely darker and i never really was a big fan of that hey i gotta talk to you all right mick i'll talk to you later big bozo big bright blue suit some action from his regular girl misty go pick her up at hepburn heights but watch yourself that's Diablo Turf. Diablo Stand Turf, you say. And and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Misty's a slut. So, by the way, that's Misty in the middle right there. I do remember her. Just because I remember her being really, like, ugly looking. I need this, sir. And we're gonna turn it off. All right, so apparently we need to go get Misty again, even though we just dropped her off a while ago. Oh man, this car is... Actually, you know what? I, I want this car. There we go, all right. You need some wheels for this job. Yes, I know, I'm getting some wheels. Oh, shh. I didn't notice that cop there. That That's one of the things that's probably going to cost me a couple times. Uh, oh, damn it. I didn't see that. Like I said, everything's just dark in this game. I can't tell. Excuse me. Alright, um... Yeah, I, 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 I need to quickly... Pay attention to what these, uh, the cops look like. I'm so used to seeing them wear, like, the khaki color and coming in, like, green vehicles from Vice City. All right, so take Misty to Joey's. Um, one thing that I will say about this game, and probably one of the reasons why I was so hesitant, and I and I still probably am so hesitant to, to go back to playing this game, and why I don't particularly have as much fun with this game as I do with the, the, the next two games, like Vice City and San Andreas, is essentially the, the world map is a lot smaller then, you know, I mean, San Andreas, it's kind of like a, a, a given, you know. San Andreas is huge, um, even compared with Vice City. But even, even Vice City compared to, you know, Liberty City here is a lot bigger. Um, I read somewhere, oh, damn it, I missed it. I read somewhere that when this, when Vice City was first coming out, that the, the world map here of or the world map in Vice City was twice as big as Liberty City. Now I don't know if I believe that because I mean, don't get me wrong, this this place is pretty big too. But from my playthroughs, yeah, it's it's nowhere near as big as as Vice City, which to me kind of lessens the that sense of adventure. Am I gonna get to play with your big end again? Your big end. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All so right? many Italian stereotypes. <laughs> Alright, so we got $1,000. So now we have $6,500. Now I'm hearing... Like I'm, I, I can hear a phone somewhere around here. Where the hell is the phone? It's not this thing. It's like I, I can hear I can hear a phone. Oh, that glare! Where the hell is the phone? Is it here? Oh yeah. All right, the crook. The name is Chonks. Marty Chonks. Chonks. Marty. I went to and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? Uh -huh. I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood-sucking leech. Bitchin' dog food. I do remember that. Like that, I always thought that was pretty funny. Um, so now we have a side... Uh, or I don't think it's a side mission. But these are sort of the same mission types that we saw in uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City with the assassin missions those uh, missions that we kept finding every now and then 
Uh, what the hell? Oh, what the? Okay. Okay, I, I need a I need a car. I I'm scared that I, I that I that I'm like near a, a cop somewhere because again I don't I don't particularly remember what they look like. All right, so there's a marker right here, right there. So let's go in there, shall we? Where the hell is the entrance to this thing? There they are. Okay. What am I su What the hell am I supposed to do? Wait, what the... <laughs> Seriously, what the hell am I supposed to do? I have no map? Oh, you... Alright, um... I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's crooked. Alright, take take my car. Pick him up and bring him back here. Okay. So I'm supposed... Okay, so the car, that's what I actually am supposed to be getting. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. There it is. Okay. So I needed to pick up this car, not not bring one of my own. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I see, I see. And here is this guy's car. Now I'm assuming that he has. All right, go and meet the bank manager, and let's change the radio station because we don't want to get sued. Perennial. Now, one thing that I will say about this game as well, when compared to Vice City, I know I'm not. I know I'm like kind of blabbing on about, you know, how inferior this game is, but really I'm I'm saying it. Partly because I want to, uh, you know, I want to be informative when I say this, uh, you know, what I know about this game and stuff like that. But also for my own, you know, I'm saying this for myself too, that there are nowhere near as many car types as there are in uh, Vice City. And as far as I know, there's also no. Oh, Mr. Chunk sent you, did he? Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. There's also no uh, motorcycles, which is kind of a bummer, because motorcycles are always fun. All right, so now we need to take this guy into this building here. And I don't remember what happens after that. Although, I'm pretty sure it will be hilarious and fun and uh, G-rated. Okay, so... Okay, there he goes. I was like, did he get stuck somewhere? Like... Door opens automatically, of course. Get your hands off me, ah! Ooh! <laughs> Take the car to the crusher to get rid of evidence. Get out of the car, and the crane will pick it up. So apparently, that guy got his arm cut off, which is always swell. You know, that, that's what I do. I, you know, whenever I disagree with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Twilight Princess was not that bad, you bastard. Slice. All right, so now we got we got to get rid of our evidence here. I don't know what evidence we might have. I guess uh, hair follicles or whatever, but we need to go and get rid of the evidence by taking this thing to a crane. I do remember this part. Now I can't remember if it's this game or it might be it might it might be San Andreas. I remember that there's one part in one of these 3D Grand Theft Auto games. Okay, all right. Well, that's that's unfortunate. I just ran over that guy. See, this is what I'm talking about. You guys, if you guys pay attention here, everything looks gray. Like, everything. Dark, gray, muggy. That That's that's sort of what I'm talking about. Oh, sh You know, when... Uh, Alright, park in the mark car and exit your vehicle. The vehicle will then be crushed. Alright, here we go. So now, we're just gonna... We're gonna watch this. Uh... Freaking A, man. The controls are inverted. I, I hate inverted. Um, so it's taking that car there, and it's that going to drop it into that compactor, which is pretty cool, and it's going to crush it. I kind of almost wish, though, that we that would have that we would have been able to do that with that guy. Like instead of taking him to that place and having him just have his uh, having his uh, his arm cut off or whatever that guy did to him, I kind of just wish that we would have just taken him here. It would have been cool to see him like get crushed and stuff like that. I know that sounds pretty morbid, but having played Grand Theft Auto in the past, that seems kind of kind of tame by comparison. 
So like I said, this, you know, all this just looks very, very muggy. What the hell? Claude looked really weird there a minute ago. That this, uh, I will say that, if you guys just noticed there, uh, that's one thing that I did miss about Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So you have these different camera angles. This is sort of like really zoomed in, like straight up Resident Evil 3 style. Uh, but then you have this, like this style. I really wish they would have kept it in Grand, in like future Grand Theft Autos. They don't have it in Vice City and I, and uh, or San Andreas. This sort of harkens back to uh, the old school Grand Theft Auto games, and I miss it. Like I, I, I never use it, but I, I really wish they would have kept it. If only for novelty's sake, because, you know. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Okay, I pissed somebody off. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm just showing them, man. Come on, now. Alright, so apparently I stole somebody's car that I wasn't supposed to. Oh, god damn it. Sorry, I'm changing the, uh, the radio station here. Alright, let's go back to Luigi. Yeah, I, I, I always thought that that was pretty cool, that, that overhead camera angle. I, I really liked it. Oh, damn it. Alright, it's on the other side of this building here. Ooh, there's a jump part right there. Let's see if we can... Goosh! Oh, no! Okay, there we go. And then we just go over here, back to Luigi's, see what else he wants us to do. Yeah, there we go. Sad thing though is that like, we never really go inside Luigi's uh, pad here, his strip club, which is all kinds of sad. Pump action pimp. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Scuzzy go and take bitches. Care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Abner Nation opposite the subway. All right, so now we're going to be introduced to uh, actual guns instead of just going around beating people up with baseball bats and our bare hands. So he said that we need to go back behind the ammun ammunition store on the opposite subway, which I don't know exactly where it is, but thankfully there is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't want that. We don't want that. Okay. That's one thing I, al I also noticed here is that the traffic in this game compared to Grand Theft Auto Vice City and, it's in, and San Andreas is a lot more aggressive. Alright, come on. Can you get the hell out the way? Alright, so he said behind it. There it is. Alright, so now we got we got a, uh, a pistol here. Now we just need to go over there and uh, take this fool out. There he is. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do this, but that's half the fun, isn't it? Okay, okay. Oh, shh. Okay, <laughs> that's fun. There we go. The only bad thing now is that we have, uh... Oh, wait, never mind. The cops just left. And the good thing is we have, um... Is that a pager? <laughs> Alright, the pistol is now in stock. At ammunition. Awesome. Um, unfortunately, though, we we sustain some injuries here. Which is not good. Not good at all. One thing I hate, though, is that... I don't think that there's, yeah, there's no, there's no map. Like, there's no option to, to see a map. I might actually increase the brightness here just a little bit. And uh, invert it up and down. No, I don't want that. Huh. Alright, so, I... See, this is this is the part where this is going my my unfamiliarity with this game, especially with the map here, is is going to show through because I don't know where exactly I can get health. 
So, this is what we're going to do. Oh, damn it, I thought I could go in there. I'm going to go into my hideout here, and I'm going to save, because I don't know... Does he get tired? Yes, he does. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save here, and yeah, I have no save files on on my Xbox. I think I've played this before on my 360, though. I think those are where my main main files are. I don't know why. I just for some reason I played this on 360, which is completely freaking disorienting, by the way. When you when you want to use cheat codes and then. You know, they're they're like press the. You know, like one of the pr one of the buttons that you have to press is like the black and white button, and you look down, and there's like no black and white buttons on the 360 controller. Okay, these guys need to slow the freak down. Hmm. Okay. Was I just moving? Yes, I was. That's really weird. Like the camera angle moves. Cause. Yeah, cause see, like if you look closely, Claude moves like he bobs up and down or whatever. Okay, I I really need to. All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go. Let's just keep going. All right, the fuzzball. Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, old school action. Town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. Aw, oh, damn it. So this one's going to have, I'm assuming, a time limit. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Okay, I need this. All right. Thankfully, uh, this one has four doors. That's what I was looking for. All right, so now we have a time limit. We have to pick up girls, uh, you know, because sluts. Um, oh man, there's a little bit of a slowdown there. Get in here, whore. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm supposed to pick up all of these girls, but I'm going to assume that I do really gonna suck because we, 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 we really do have like a limited oh damn it I can't go in there damn it oh this freaking traffic oh Jesus that is not good at all I'm probably going to fail this mission <laughs> that's one of the things that I noticed right away like freaking A man um, get in here you freaking Slut bag. That's one of the things that I noticed right away is that these cars do not take any damage whatsoever. Like, they are very. Like, they are very sensitive here. I mean, you can kind of see there, I, I just got this car and it's already smoking and stuff. Damn it, I. I, I need a I need a new car. I really need a new car, and I am. Okay, let's give me this car. Get the hell out. Okay. Well, that's not going to help. Man, some of these girls are like really out of the way. Oh, God damn it. That girl's like all the way up there. I really, really don't think I'm going to... Might have to re redo this mission, which is going to suck because I hate these missions. I hate these time limit missions. But God damn it. These girls are like as far apart as possible. Get in here, slut. What are you doing here, anyway? I really wish my... the hood of my car would just fly off already. It's preventing my vision! Oh... 
Da! Ah, there we go. <laughs> that was pro. Oh, come on, can... I really can't see. <laughs> or, I'm, or rather, I mean, I can, I can see somewhat, but I'm having trouble seeing because of that, my hood, my block in my view. Come here, whore. Get in my car. Oh, what? Aw, oh, damn it, this is just a two... Fudge. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to pass this mission. I've already wasted way too much time. And uh, I don't know if I need to um Come on, stop. Uh Okay. Freaking A, man. I am hitting everything. See, the problem here is that... Oh, crap. Oh, yep. Need to get out. Need to get out. Uh, the problem here is that I got a, uh, a two-door car. And that's not good. For what we're trying to do, that is not good. Alright, so there's another one over here. Damn it! Ugh. That's another thing that I noticed. Like, these cars are a lot more... Like... Slippery. Than normal. And by normal, I mean Vice City. <laughs> I, know, I know I keep comparing this thing to Vice City, guys. I promise I'll stop, but... The, you know, the more that I get used to... Yeah, see, I, I don't have enough time here. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, gonna give him four. I mean, that's all I can, really, at this point. I'm probably gonna fail. Or, maybe? Maybe? Does it matter? Hey, There we go. <laughs> I have no idea what the, the stipulations of that were. But quite frankly, I don't care. Where the hell can I get some health? Can I get health in here? I need health. Aw, oh, damn it. I thought that, you know, since this is a diner. Or it looks like a diner. I need some freaking health. You know what's going to end up happening is I'm probably going to have to end up dying on purpose. Just so that I know where the hell the hospital is. Because this is not helping me. Well, there's a bribe. That's good to know. So I don't have to waste my money on... Freaking pay and spray. Because apparently they charge you a thousand dollars. Which I think is just... Ridonkulous. Okay, seriously. Look, where the freak is... Are you going to screw it? I'll, I'll just play until... Un until I die, and then I that way I know where exactly the uh, the hospital is. So, all right. So apparently we don't have any more Luigi man uh, missions. I almost said Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> uh, we don't have any more Luigi missions, so we have to God freaking a. Uh, we have to go and uh, visit Joey over here, who we supplied with one of our 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 good. Hookers are good sluts, uh, Misty. So he should be, um, he should be nice and satisfied now and willing to give us work. Actually, ooh, I got it. I got an idea. I got an idea. I have a good idea. Um, where, where? Where are they? I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Get in my car, baby. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, since I can't find a a, a health power-up or a, a hospital, I am forced to do this. There we go. <laughs> You know what? Th I think this is a good. This is a, 
This is a record. My Vice City playthrough, I think it took me like a couple videos before I actually showed this off. But this one, it was almost a necessity because I need health. And I can't freaking find a hospital, so... Alright, so she got me up to 77. That's not good enough. You did not do your job properly, madam. Damn it, I can't see. You did not do what I told you to do. So, I'm going to have to ask for my money back. I am unsatisfied. Is there any more cash in there that I need? Oh, huh. okay. Alright, so now we just need to find another one. Alright, so you can you can easily tell which one the whores are. I should <laughs> I should stop calling them whores, that's not nice. The adult Uh Oh whatever, they're whores. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm trying to find like a nicer way of saying prostitute. Which I guess is prostitute, but something a little bit more funny. You can tell which ones they are because they're they're mostly just wearing red, like this one right here. Hey, come here. Get in my damn car. There we go. Hopefully with this one, it'll it'll get me at least to 100. And then I can go ahead and start Joey's mission. There we go. That's right. That's right. I, I, didn't even, uh, I didn't even pay attention to how much the last one cost. But that's okay, because I'm going to take my money back anyway. Alright, so we just need to find some bushes. This game is horrible. <laughs> I like I like how it just so happens to be Portland View. 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, hey, and now we're going overboard. Uh, for those of you who don't know, yes, when you get prostitutes in your car you can't actually go above a hundred and uh, actually it cost a hundred for the prostitute I just noticed that huh there we go I will take my money back there we go and, and you actually don't get your full hundred back which is not good all right so now we can just go on um, I am feeling satisfied and refreshed sounds all kinds of wrong saying that but now we can go ahead and start Joey's missions I really don't remember like I said I remember this this game to a point oh god damn it 5 21 between 5 and 20 okay so what we can do here what the hell what what the hell like that asshole like he just I just got jacked for my car. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I could be like I'm pissed off, but really, I mean, I've been doing that the entire game so far, so I guess karma is a bitch indeed. Damn it. I don't even know which one. I think it was a hobo. That That's the part that really makes this whole thing sad. All right, so the, the thing there... The reason why I can't do Joey's mission so far is because it says that it has to be between 5 and 21, which is the game time. If you guys see over there at the top right of your screen, that is the game time. Police department. So that's where I would come back if I were to get captured by the police department. I'm just driving around just showing you guys uh, the city here. Yes, there is a subway. That's one thing that Vice City and... Well, San Andreas had a full-on train, but yeah, Vice City did not have a subway or a, uh, a train, a light rail, if you will. Um, so that, that that is one point to Grand Theft Auto 3. And it does look pretty cool, and I, I want to say you can ride it, but again, it's been so long that I just don't remember any of these little quirks and things like that. Now, one thing to, that we can do here, and it's probably what I'm going to, I'm going to end up doing is that you can speed the game time up or you can make it uh, proceed like go forward in time by going to your safe house over here saving and it'll move the game time up 
I think it was six hours. So in moments like this, where you have, uh, you know, when where where you have things like this, where you need to uh, pass the time somehow, that is one thing that you can do. What the hell is it? Oh, it's a vibe. Okay. And it's a good time to save too. All right. So as you guys can see over there in the top right. Six hours has passed. It is now 7.40 whatever. It's about to be 8. So now we can go back to Joey's place and then we can get some... Uh, we can go on with... Uh, proceed with the next mission. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut through here. I don't know what exactly this place is. Here. There we go. And then we take a left here if I remember correctly. Yep. Ammunition. Now, one thing I will say, this guys, I'm not going to start doing this right now because I, I have a good amount of of, whip, ooh, of weapons. But just like my Grand Theft Auto Vice City playthrough, I I am going to use. I'm going to start. Eventually, I'm going to start using uh, weapons cheat codes. Now, what that means is that yes, there is a cheat code that will give you weapons, and um, every time you input that cheat code, it gives you more ammunition. So eventually, I'm going to start using that. Um, for the same reason as my Grand Theft Auto Vice City playthrough, it's basically just because uh, I don't want to waste time going back every time I die or every time I get, you know, captured or anything like that. Um, just don't want to waste time. In a moment, so. sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long. And the Ferrelli brothers. Ooh, respect. we remember those guys. The Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car take it to eight balls bomb shop up in Harwood you know eight ball right yes I know eight ball with a bomb go park the car where you found it then sit back and watch the whole show but hurry up you won't be in forever all right so this mission basically we have to go steal a car we have a time limit of course which I hate we have to take that car take it to eight balls garage eight ball is the guy that we came in with the um, black dude that uh, his his whole spiel is that he's able to fit cars with bombs. And actually, during my Grand Theft Auto Vice City playthrough, even though he, even though Eight Ball himself is not in the game at all, his garage is actually still in the game. Um, he he only has one garage. I mean, he he only has one garage here too. But it's a little it's it's a little you know it's kind of neat that he you still have that option of of uh you know it's like a little a little nod to this game where eight ball here you know you take the car to his garage okay here we go just wanted to change the uh, the radio station here oh okay Ooh. <laughs> it's like just ran him over going like two miles an hour so one thing here is that we, we, we can't get the the car here. We can't damage the car, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't think... I may, I may be thinking about another mission from another game, but I don't think we can damage the car because it looks too suspicious. But I think so far we're good. Now we're going to take this car to uh, to here, to 8-Ball's... Ooh, okay. To 8-Ball's thing here. And what happens is that we just take this car, we go into... This little garage here. Okay, so we'll go off when engine is started. Right trigger to arm it. Oh sh! Oh god damn it! Huh. Are you kidding me? Uh, all right, whatever. I wonder if I can still. No. Okay, whatever. So that was <laughs> that was a complete failure. That was the laziest fail I have ever seen. I I am I <laughs> I deeply apologize for that. Now here's the thing: we have to be we have to be quick because, as you guys remember, Joey's mission is only available from five from five to twenty one. I mean, we're pretty much we're 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 good. We're not in any god damn it in any immediate danger to you know kind of shut that small window of having to take the commission from Joey, but that is one thing that you have to pay attention to. Um, 
Man, that was a that was the lamest way to have possibly failed that mission. I just I hit that little mound and I flipped over. <laughs> what the hell? Like I would have liked it better if the thing blew up and I died or I got captured by the police in an awesome gunfight or something. Something more spectacular than just oh, I flipped the car going over a hill. What the hell? That was the lamest way to end a mission. Mike Lip's last lunch. Because alliteration for the win. Alright, we don't need to see this. That was embarrassing. I'm sorry, folks. But now we know what to do. Ooh, okay. Now we know exactly what to do so we don't, you know, no messing around this time. This time I'll be sure to look out for that hill, that little mound of, of mud. Whatever the hell that thing was, that was lame. Jesus. Alright, here we go. Ha! My old car's still here. And, uh, yeah, the the type of car here that, that the guy has changes every time, so... That's an interesting bit of trivia there. I... Even though it's sort of like my, my little thing here to include little bits and trivia for every video that I do, I, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss here, which is kind of astonishing because I love video game trivia and I always know like little bits to say. I guess, I mean, I guess the, the, the bit of trivia for this game is that Claude is, you know, for this game you didn't know his name was Claude until they told us that his name was Claude, and, but it wasn't until San Andreas came out. So there you go, that's your bit of trivia. He is a silent protagonist. Uh, there's a poster of him. Ooh, I, I know, I know what the, I know what bit of trivia I'm going to say about this game, even though it's not really about this game. Um, so Claude is a silent protagonist. He didn't get his name until San Andreas, which was released much later after this game. He appears in a cameo in San Andreas, uh, but I, uh, his role there, I'm not going to say what it is because it's going to spoil things. Um, and he he also made a, sh a another cameo in uh, in Vice City on a poster inside one of your uh, inside the Ocean Beach Hotel, which is one of your hideouts. And there are cutouts of of the the of the uh, the what call it? Okay, so we armed the bomb. Now we got to get out of there. Yeah, there are cutouts of the the cast of the you know some of the characters from this game in Vice City in one of the storefronts, um, which is always kind of neat. So there you go. That's your trivia for this game, even though it's more or less trivia for Vice City and San Andreas. But whatever. He gets in the car. He revs it up, and boom! Awesome. We got ten thousand for that. That's awesome. And now people are just gonna be like, what? What, and, and we were just here the whole time, like, what? Alright guys, so, um, I'm going to call it a day. I think that was a fair amount of missions to have completed. So this is, uh, this has been part one of Grand Theft Auto uh, 3. I'm so used to saying Grand Theft Auto Vice City. This is the first part of Grand Theft Auto. Um, actually, I, I just wanted to see what was up there. Like I said, I don't remember anything about this game, so I'm going to be... Just as curious as you are if this is indeed the first time that you've ever seen this game. Um, this is one thing I noticed, though. Life. Hmm. So that's one place that I know of that has life. So I'm just going to go ahead and, um, and save my game, and then I will call it a day. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and say my goodbyes. So, yeah, if you... This, I, I'm planning on doing, just so you guys know, I'm planning on playing this game every, I don't know, maybe every Monday, maybe Tuesday. It's really just going to depend, honestly, like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. I know I can't, I know for sure I can't do it on Wednesday. Uh, that's the one day that I can't do it because I'm busy. Um, Fridays are a little iffy as well. Saturdays are a little iffy as well. I know that last time when I was doing my Grand Theft Auto Vice City, playthrough on here on Twitch um, 
my schedule was that I played it uh, Tuesdays and Tuesdays and Saturdays I think it was this one is going to be a little different so the the only thing the best that I can tell you guys if you want to join me every time I play this game is that um, I'm just be sure to follow me on Twitch so you guys get notified every time somebody goes live on Twitch TV uh, you know you get notified so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be walking around here uh, until I finish this my, my statements here my schedule for this game um, I'm trying to punch that that vehicle <laughs> uh, so yeah I um, don't really have a, a set schedule for this I apologize for that I know that Monday right now it's looking like Monday maybe Tuesday Monday Tuesday and then Thursday is pro are th those three days are probably the days that I'm probably going to be doing uh, live let's play like I'm going to be recording live so um, again just follow me on twitch so that way you know exactly when I go on live follow me on Twitter at Johnny Crimson 2k so that you guys can um, I'll, I notify I always notify um, send out a tweet right before I go live for anything I do um, and I always try try to give people sort of like a uh, in advance some time in advance holy crap I'm being chased I hit one guy and like freaking his whole posse is now like chasing after me and of course if you want to catch up with it, anything else that I've that I've uh, uploaded all my other videos my other let's plays my let's plays uh, my my let's play of Grand Theft Auto uh, Vice City is completely on YouTube uh, my channel is Johnny Crimson 2000 so you can get it on that. Oh, see, look, there's another life. That's pretty cool. I do like these though. Right before I, uh, I like this. These uh, made up, these made up logos. I always found it fascinating. The only one that I can recognize right away is that fun cola is obviously a play on the Pepsi Cola uh, logo, which is always funny. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. Uh, oh, one thing, I'm playing around with the idea of doing two. Let's plays at the same time, two let's plays like this. The other one that I'm maybe, maybe planning on doing is um, e it's either going to be Infamous or let's see, it's either going to be Infamous or maybe even Sly Cooper because I actually just um, played through that game again and so it's sort of like fresh in my mind. So I, I figure it's a good, good one to play while it's still like I still know what I'm doing. Um, but again, I'll make announcements to that a little bit later on my Twitter. So you, there you go. Another reason why to follow me on Twitter. Um, so I can send out all the tweets. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. This has been Johnny Crimson 2000. I hope that you enjoyed this playthrough. Again, this is part one. I will be going through the entire game. So be sure to join me whenever I do com come online. Um, so this has been Johnny Crimson. Let's kill a couple people and uh, let's see how long I can go before I die. Or, you know, I get caught or something. I always like ending these videos like this. There we go. There we go. I don't even know how many bullets I have. Ooh, there's a cop. Gotta kill him. There it is. Ooh. Oh, somebody ran me over. Huh. Alright. <laughs> So I had not, uh, I, apparently I don't have any more. Alright, so they sent uh, the uh, the helicopter there. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Eh, and I'm dead. <laughs> Alright guys, this has been Johnny Cruz 2000. I hope to see you guys next time.